Once you've logged into the LLCC Search and Discover interface in the upper right-hand corner, you'll see I'm logged in there, you'll see your list of results, and there are various things I want to point out about this result page. The first is that searching from the library's homepage defaults to the Everything at LLCC option. That searches across all of our various platforms, and various resources, including uh, books, videos, and articles. You can, in the drop-down to the right of your search, limit to specific areas within our collection, such as articles, or if you just want to search EBSCO databases, that's also an option. Sometimes when you search, you'll notice that you also have those options available, available to you as you type in your search terms. So just keep that in mind. I'm searching everything at LLCC, so I have 1,093,620 results. That's quite a bit, more than I want to go through in an afternoon. So I'm going to come to the left and I'm going to tweak my results. I'm just going to walk you through some of these options. One of the things you can sort within this result area is you can sort by relevance. That's what it defaults to. It gives you the most relevant item first. But I may, depending on my research needs, want to limit by the newest item first. So that's an option you have underneath sort. That doesn't change the number of results, but it changes the order in which you see them. The next option is availability. In this case, since I'm functioning in an at-home environment, I may want to limit just to the items that are available online. What that should do is get rid of this first item, for instance. It's at the LLCC library stacks. Now we have about um, I don't know, 50 or 60,000 different titles in print. So you're not going to change your results dramatically by limiting to available online when we're searching everything at LLCC. But it is one way you can click, it's one way you can narrow your, your results. So you click on available online and you apply that filter. So what we should see is we've dropped off of just around 400 items. Now everything should say available online. Even if it has a call number, this means we have two different versions of that. One is in print and one is available online. Another thing you may want to limit to would be peer-reviewed journals. That will get rid of all the books and will just focus on the articles within our databases. Open access are materials that we have available not through the library directly, things that we've purchased, but things are available online. So if you click on that, you'll be sent to various websites of publishers that have provided access to their materials. And of course, if it's held by the library, that means it's going to be something that we have uh, in our collections and, and that we have access to for you. So I normally would just limit to the online and occasionally the peer-reviewed journals, depending on what my needs are. You'll also notice that there's a number of other options. You can limit by subjects. This should give you various topics that you might consider searching for and narrowing your results down a little bit. So if I'm really interested in machine learning, I will go from my 1,093,000 results to just 47,713 results just by selecting that particular subject category. So if I, again, apply that filter, my results should change to that 47,713. Okay, it should keep my, uh, my other filter of available online. So now I have two active filters. If I keep scrolling down, I can also see resource type. This is a very important and interesting way to narrow your results. I could just say I'm interested in articles. Or I'm interested in book chapters, conference proceedings. And this is a way that you can navigate and narrow down your, res your results quite a bit. So if I want to exclude conference proceedings, that might be a little bit too uh, heady for, for me right now. I would click on the little red checkbox that has a slash through it, and you'll notice it says exclude conference proceedings. So I could exclude those, and that will again change my results. Not dramatically, but it might help me in that case. You'll see that it's listed here as a conference proceedings with a, a line through it. So that's one of the options that is a really nice way to limit your results. Okay, once you have done so, you'll be able to click on these results and view the, the items full text online, and I can show you that in a different video. Thanks. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact one of the Lincoln Land Community College librarians. We're always happy to help.